Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the day of Thursday, January the 4th, 2024 and we've always already reached the fourth day of the new year and the number is a very, very healing number and you might say how our number is healing because you are surrounded by the light and the light wants to remind you that you're surrounded by the light in every way so whatever you think of in in numbers of four you can say this day directions right you are surrounded by that security safety whatever you want to bring in prosperity love sweetness <laughs> Learning, changing, change, reflection, healing, whatever it is. So keep on calling upon the mighty Divine Father who's here in the form of a very unusual man, you can say, right? But he is of the Akashic spaces, for he has been mentioned by name, Sanat Kumara in the Mahabharat, which is the holy book of the Hindu religion. So just look into his face and absorb that light because that's exactly what you're doing today, reminding yourself that none of you and not, no part of you is weak or without answers or limited or lacking or going to lack in the future because all the doors literally that's why the number four has come the directions are giving you a chance to go forward in the way you want to you'll feel fulfilled in whatever you do this day if you just give yourself completely to the light. So look into his eyes, because literally that's what he brings. He's called by name, the light of God. So take a moment, I'll be quiet for a moment, to allow you to receive all that heaven wants to give you right now. and some form of guidance wherever it is that you still feel you lack or you're tired or you're carrying something from the last year that you haven't resolved yet. There's so many answers coming for, forward in this simple-looking man who's mighty. But his innocence Become that again yourself, an innocent child of God, receiving, trusting, believing, doing, without question, without reservation, without concern about what is going to happen or who is seen. Just be you. That's why I'm saying shine your light. It's not saying that Shine your light and see how it's shining, right? You're going forward in every way. So he's standing strong and tall with the scepter of the light. So the scepter of the light is basically how you can really clear your baggage. Replace it. Replace negativity, fear, fatigue with all that's positive shining, and going forward. If movement is stuck somewhere, look at the scepter. Touch that scepter of light. Scepter of light, I ask you, Sanat Kumara, I ask you for help with. And then just hold it. Feel. Feel that energy of the scepter coming into your palm. 
ever so gently, shining, vibrating, however you receive it. I'm just giving it to you as I see it. Let this now be activated completely. Now you might say, why is his hair all white? Because he's supposed to be a young man and he's supposed to be of heaven. So isn't he supposed to shine with the golden light? That's exactly what he's trying to tell you. Can you remember your past as it occurred? Take a moment to do that. Now, notice in your memories how many positive memories there are, how many positive lessons and and events do you hold on to with heart and how much is there that you say, forget it, that's just a year I want to forget. So if you have more of the negative than the positive, then that means you have clearing and activation to cultivate. That's right behind him. That's why that landscape is black. It's not dark. It's not disturbing. It's just giving you the time to reflect and think about how to go forward gracefully. Because heaven always does everything gracefully in timing. Correctly timed, correctly placed. That's why they're like bouncing lights behind him. Because the efforts that you make from the scepter will then create those effects in your life, in your daily life. However you want to see them, you want a sign, ask for that sign and it'll come through. Your face will be shining then with the light. Yes, I can feel the divine ones around me. I know that they're there. Make it that much better for you. Stop struggling alone. And if you see his hand also, it's receiving, it seems, light from the scepter. But you might think and consider this, that maybe your light is going into the scepter. It's because you're touching the scepter. That's why it's lit up. That's how bright you are. That's how much potential you carry. That that's that's how much is of God is within you. God and you are not separate. Heaven and you are, are not separate. The divine ones and you are not separate. So today is the day to remember more than ever that you are a divine one. Not limited and not to stop yourself in any way and not to blame yourself in any way because many of us would be carrying thoughts about the past year and a lot of them would be blame that I did not get this accomplished and I did not get that done just shine your light that's why this card is so direct and simple easy to follow and if you see his hair being white it's because it's pure It's soft, it's gentle, it's taking its time to come through. And you can consider a person with with white hair to be wise, elderly, right? So yes, you have that wisdom also coming. And if you see the left side of his hair and his forehead, his crown, this is the messages you can say, that you are storing or have stored in your thoughts regarding the past year. What you're bringing forward. What you want to change. What you want to take forward in terms of movement. That's happening. Because there's movement. But see how gentle it is. It's not flowing with with a curl or something or a wave, right? It's very, very gentle, subtle. So trust all those thoughts that you receive in the background. 
They're coming forward for a reason. And then the right side is where you're thinking about how you're going to complete the rest of this year. What is it that you have planned for this year? Don't make it very rigid. And don't put it in boxes that it has to happen by this date and this way. Again, just surrender and say that this, maybe you want to create a book. You want to write a book. Then let the Divine Ones help you. And ask Divine Father here, Sanat Kumara, how do I activate my light for writing this book? And look into his eyes again. That's why I'm quiet for a moment again. Till you feel some kind of acknowledgement or recognition of what you are saying. That's not just him acknowledging you, but that's you acknowledging yourself. Coming alive, you can say. And now you know and you trust that your dream is valid. That's why he has his coat so close to his throat so that even your words, your language, what you use to express yourself in daily life, in thoughts, how you read is easy, is clear. It expresses exactly what you want to say, how you want to say it in your own language, in your own way. Again, this is not related to the day's timings, the clock's timings this day. You follow your heart. Heart energy is very strong still. That's why there's a huge wave, a column of white light protecting the heart center and going all the way down then to the root. And you can activate that. I now activate the protective white light to pour down from my throat to my root. Root is the base of your spine. Think of it that way. If you don't know your chakra points, maybe you learn about your chakra points this day because of dealing with all of this energy that where is this and where is that? And you, that's the best way to discover, just to find it on your own. No book will tell you that as best as you can tell your own self. And if you see there's kind of like a design right upon it, that's basically how your chakra points need to be reminded to come back to divine blueprint, to become heavenly again. It's not that you're not heavenly right now. It's just you've forgotten how special you are. So he's just standing here telling you that whatever you do, I'm here with you. God is here with you. Your divine ones are here with you. Your divine blueprint is not lost. The Akashic records and the Akashic spaces and Archangel Raziel and the Akashic Council forever there with you. More than ever to tell you how to move forward and what to decide for yourself. So the more you listen to your internal voice and the way that your inner self functions, the easier this activation will be. And there's just a downpour of white light coming upon the earth at this time. Just to help you raise your vibration. To help you remember. To not do without what you're deserving of. Yes, that's another thing. Many of us don't ask because we just think we've sinned too much. Or we're just not special enough or not gifted enough to ask for these things. So we don't deserve them. So we just sit there in the background and do without, but still hurting within. Or you're carrying some kind of pain and you don't express it because you think that you were the one on the other side 
of the platter that was incorrect. Let that go. All those things, all those regrets, all those reasons that you don't ask the angelic forces for help or the divine forces for guidance, let them go. This is a new year. So literally create and recreate a new version of yourself. Speak in a different way. Approach in a different way. And conclude in a different way. I'm not coming to the final point because the final point, after all this movement is going around in your body and mind, and even the situations in your life are calming down, you're kind of getting a pattern of what it is that is not working for you and what it is that is serving you. And where is it that you would really like to go? Where would you like to step into, step forward into? Then it's a new year, right? By the, by the calendar, the divine calendar is now asking you to come alive. That we have a divine plan for you that includes so many blessings in all realms of your life. Don't do without. Where is it that you still feel your heart hurting? or in pain, or fearful, or tired. Let that go. And remember that if you never see this card again, you always have the angelic forces to turn to. But this is pure white light coming to you. Because that's exactly what his name means. God is light. God is showering the light upon you right now. That's why your throat is covered. So that nothing in terms of verbal communication can harm you. Not you to another and not another to you. Just shine your light and just stand there honoring your own self. The I am statements, go wild with them this day. I am, I am but only positive that you're going to accomplish all those manifestations that you set out to accomplish and you'll have them done and you'll have them ready and you'll be enjoying each and every one. Now, this still sounds like future, right? When, when does this future unfold? Right now when you decide, it does. Why? Because you are deciding to live this reality for yourself right here, right now. And you're declaring that. So I declare. The I declare statements can come forward. And I choose the scepter. The scepter of light is reminding me what my truth is. And I rewrite my Akashic Records again. This is what I want to read. This is what I want to walk into and create further movement in, add further details to. All of that is valid. That doesn't mean that your present moment is empty. Otherwise, you would not have this chance even to get this choice and make these beautiful decisions for yourself. So be proud of yourself for that. Your light, it's getting activated, becoming brighter and brighter and brighter. In some form or the other, your intuition, your angels, Master Sanat Kumara will dictate this to you. You're a divine being of light and you can feel it and shine in all your glory now fearlessly and happy and trust that your inner voice it's activated though it's written as guidance it could be help support so 
Trust it that way. Your in, internal guidance is coming through loud and clear in all faculties, in all ways, in all directions. That's why number four, right? Balance in every way of body, of mind, of spirit. And the more you activate it, the stronger and more fearless you get in a good way, not harming anyone. And you become a blessing for this world. And then your purpose, it's naturally realized, of course, doing all of this. So go ahead and activate your light this day, dear one. Let us all go forward into a glorious new year together. And this comes to us so beautifully from the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk and the beautiful way the light just pours through and gleams comes through the art of Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at lilymoses.com. So go ahead and shine away. Trust all that you receive. You're capable. You're booming. (laughs) You're going forward. You're here in every way that matters. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye-bye.